Hi, I'm Allison Scabarla. I'm here on behalf of the Vision Quest School Teacher Led School Project. Ah, great. <laughs> I'm currently an educator at school number 54 in the Rochester City Schools as an K through 6 music teacher. Ah, great, cool. yeah. Well, that was a great segue because you're next on the agenda. Yes. Yeah, the timing. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. Great timing. I apologize for the Well, you came from another meeting. Um, just like a couple of quick updates, we went through, we went to the last board meeting, mm -hmm. which um, we got to talk to Malik Evans a little bit, and um, what came out of that is the hopefully adding us to the agenda for the next um, Excellence in Education Committee meeting, which, um, Excellence in Student Achievement, sorry. Um, so at that, um, if we actually make that agenda, we'll have a full-fledged presentation, PowerPoint, explaining everything about Vision Quest, uh, if you haven't had a chance to read the proposal yet. And we're just hoping to get people out. I don't think they would they say, um, tentatively March 11th? March 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, at if you want it on the calendar. And we're just hoping to start getting people out so that they can put a little pressure on. Um, I only ha I only brought two copies of our proposal today. Does uh, anyone not have? Did anyone not have one? I think most people have one by now. That's the one we posted from the last yeah. time. Okay. And it's looking promising at this point. There, as as I'm sure you're all aware, Dan White in his uh, opening address in January is look very motivated to open uh, not any new schools to as many new schools to compete with the charter, incoming charters as quickly as possible. Um, we were informed by our union in December that we are one of the top proposals that they're st still looking at. We're in the middle of scheduling a meeting with Dr. Vargas to go after him again to pin him down to whether we can be a fresh start or whether he, he really is wedded to the idea of changing over a school that's already extant. We are also, as a planning team, currently doing a extended study of, through the Rochester Teachers Center, of um, long-term planning and curriculum development for teacher-led schools. We had to apply for it. We were blessed that we, they accepted us as a group, including Stacy, whenever she's available, so we can have that parent component community piece. And we're looking very forward. We also have support from several of the board members. Van and Malik and Mary Adams are very interested in seeing this proposal go forward. So we're hoping with more community support and continued community support, we can really push this through and through what seemed initially to be insurmountable odds. <laughs> well, it's, there, it's starting right. to get some teeth now. And by the time we get to um, meeting with Dr. Vargas, everyone will get the mass email and hope you all come out and mm -hmm. outnumber us very, very much. They are, <laughs> for us. they are very, very interested in hearing from community and parents and any, but any residents of the city of Rochester, they're interested in improving education far more than our voices as teachers, as I'm sure you're well aware. So we're hoping for a groundswell of support. Okay. That's it. Very good. Uh, any questions on that? No. Nope. Thanks for keeping us informed. Yeah. Because, like you say, it's, it's been going on for like a year. Particularly, <laughs> the like, yeah. uh, particularly the parents' voice, and that's one of the things that when I go to meetings, PTA meetings, and things like that with parents, that's one of the things that I, I'm re reminding them of the fact that they have the strongest voice in the entire community. So if they see something that they're not pleased with, speak up, join together, go together to the meetings, talk to Dr. Var Vargas, whoever else that they have access to, and but do it in as clear a voice as possible so that they're understood. But the fact that they're there talking about it is, got, carries a lot of weight. So. Yeah, the parent, uh, the... Um coffee and conversation meetings that we've had with uh, the superintendent I thought have been very well run and they, they seem to really be interested in, in the input that people coming to the meeting provide. Um, I've got to get those posted for the next set of people coming up next month. <laughs>